Universe is a fractal. Copyright 2002, Matt Black. All rights reserved. Part 1. Introduction. Determinism, fate. The problem with free will. I argue that I have free will, and can demonstrate free will by trying and by choosing. In order to try and to choose, I need to think, and in order to think, time must pass, because thinking is a process. Thinking is a verb, not a status. In order to think and to get to the point I will eat a pear from the point I am feeling hungry, I am feeling hungry must exist. I am feeling hungry may be conscious or subconscious, but my thought has an origin regarding its assembly. Significantly, as I am never aware of the assembly of my thoughts, I cannot control or select them. I do not control my ideas either. Ideas appear in my conscious mind in the same way. I perceive that I am in control, but I am not in control. My control of my body is a perception. I am not in control, because I cannot control or select the reasons for my thoughts, choices and actions. The reasons here are outside of me or originate from within my subconscious. You and me. Ordinarily, I am not aware of my body as I walk. My body balances itself, moves and avoids obstacles without my controlling it. Here, I perceive that I control only a part of my body part of my brain. I see you, and my body ordinarily moves to shake your hand. My subconscious deals with the process, the approach, and the shaking. You fall over on your way to me. My body corrects its trajectory, and it helps you up. You did something unpredictable or random, and I accommodated it. I'm not controlling my thoughts, quo artist, and my thoughts operate my body. My story cannot change, because I am not telling it. It is being told. So you were part of my story, and you must, if you exist like I do, have perceived that you were in control, but are not in control, like me. Your randomness is my perception. And mine is yours. The universe. I visit a telescope to look at the patterns of the stars. I sit down, look through it, and my eyes focus on a star. The movement of my eyes, as they lock onto a star is not from my instruction. My eyes move, as part of the complex mathematical unwinding of the universe in its evolution. That I am not in control and yet can focus on a star exemplifies the logic and mathematics that relate my eyes movement, my thought and the star's position with respect to me over time. I am not in control, and, as shown on the following pages, the process of living is not random. Logic. The above is evidence of determinism. There follows an argument in logic that uses two axioms, I think. And zero does not equal one. The argument concludes that without determinism I cannot think. Consequent arguments follow this. Universe is a fractal. Part 2. Universe is deterministic. This is the argument expressed in logic statements. Random process and logic process cannot coexist. Logic process. Input determines output. Therefore, with the logic process, output is determinate. Random process. Input does not determine output. Therefore, with the random process, output is not determinate. Therefore random process is not a logic process. Input either does or does not determine output, axiom. Zero does not equal one. Therefore. Conclusion. Random process exclusive or, zor, logic process. I think. Axiom. I think therefore I am, reference. Descartes. Cogito ergo sum. The logic of language. T-H-I-N-K the mnemonic T-H-I-N-K indicates the passage of time during the assembly of T-H-I-N-K in my mind, to give an outcome over time. T-H-I-N-K, input determines output, logic. 
The deduction follows from th i and k that over time subconscious inputs to th with later assemblies of i n give rise to k in the example and that input determines output for the outcome think thought completion giving the meaning think. The last letter is not J, for example, instead, THIN determines K, and that determination is not supplied by my conscious mind, because I have not memorized the combinations of characters required to determine the next letter, in this case K, and I certainly do not consciously compute how to complete the word from the preceding characters.